What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Blue Blood Sports TV, back at y'all with another one. So, Vasil Lomachenko now has a change of heart. He is now the newly crowned IBF lightweight world champion. And he was called out by one Javante Tank Davis, to which Vasil High Tech Lomachenko, he stated that uh, he have to think about it. And it's like asking a pregnant lady who just gave birth if she wanted to have another kid, right? So Vasil Lomachenko, who is 36 years of age and just won the IBF title at lightweight in his quest to become undisputed at 135, who has 18 wins, three losses, no draw, 12 wins by way of knockout. He's three, three, win, three losses on his career, on his re resume, five foot seven and a half, with a 65 and a half inch arm reach, right? He was called out by Javante Tank Davis after his win this past weekend and stoppage in 11th round over George Cambosis. And he stated that, you know, uh, not now. Javante Tank Davis talks on Twitter. It's easy to talk on Twitter, so on and so forth. But he alluded to, he's just not interested. And I told you guys, this Saturday, Emmanuel Navarrete is going to fight for the WBO title. That's an easier route. Emmanuel Navarrete wins the fight. That's the easier route for uh, Vasil Lomachenko to be a unified champion. The style, the style matchup, right? Stylistic-wise, that's an easier matchup. He's tailor-made Emmanuel Navarrete for Lomachenko, who likes to be a counterpuncher, who likes to pick his shots and is very precise and very accurate with a high ring IQ and great footwork, right? Nonetheless, now he has since changed his tune and now says that uh, he's going to heal up and now he's interested in accepting the offer from Javante Tank Davis who posted that Vasil Lomachenko was going to be next after uh, he fights June 15th in Las Vegas, Nevada against Frank the Ghost Martin. Now, what's interesting is now that we've learned that Frank Martin and Javante Tank Davis, or should I say Javante Tank Davis and Frank Martin, have now done close to a $15 million gate of expectations already, okay? They have now sold, uh, according to the reports, they have now sold um, they only have 1,500 1, 500 tickets left, right? And they are now expecting right now, currently as it stands, 15 to 18 million dollar gate right so they have sold a massive amount of tickets already javante tank davis has sold right and they're expecting a gate they sold fifteen thousand tickets already right fifteen thousand tickets already sold and now the gate is already at 15 to 18 million dollar gate and they're expecting after that other uh, 1,576, this is 1,576 uh, tickets left. And they expect that once those tickets are sold, that gate to reach a $20 million gate. Now we know last April, Javante Tank Davis fought against Ryan Garcia and he did a $23 million gate. And now they're expecting this gate at the MGM to do a $20 million gate at least, right? Because now it's only 1,576 tickets left. They already sold 15,000 tickets. So uh, it's going to be a sold out event. And they're expecting this fight to generate a massive amount of money. Right. And no doubt, Javante Tank Davis is now the WBA super champion. And this is a fight that would be a unification bout. But for the first time in Lomachenko's career in the marquee fight, it will be a massive pay-per-view of him. He's a marquee Hall of Famer, three-division champion, two-time Olympic gold medalist, former unified lightweight champion. Javante Tank Davis is undefeated three-division champion. Uh, 29 wins, no loss, no draw. 27 wins by way of knockout. The toughest test on paper is Frank Martin, in my opinion. And so with that said, now he has a massive fight on his hands uh, with Frank Martin. But now Javante Tank Davis gets past Frank Martin, says he wants Lomachenko. Lomachenko been calling out. Javante Tank Davis for quite some time. This would be a mega fight for uh, Vasil Lomachenko. 
He'd been calling Tank Davis out. Tank Davis and Floyd Mayweather when he was under the tutelage of Floyd Mayweather and Mayweather promotions. Now he's not. He's still with the premier boxing champion founder advisor Al Heyman and, the Am and Amazon Prime now after Showtime got out the business of the sport of boxing after 37 years. So now Lomachenko is saying he's willing to accept it uh, now that he has gotten, you know, uh, a little bit of rest and got his thoughts together. He's willing to accept the offer to fight Javante Tank Davis next. That's huge. So let's see how this unfolds and plays out. Javante Tank Davis, Frank Martin is already doing massive numbers. Now, I don't know what the pay-per-view numbers is because the pay-per-view for Ryan Garcia and Tank was $1.2 I don't know if it's going to reach those numbers, but the gate is doing extremely well. So let's see how this unfolds and plays out. But uh, that's all I got for y'all. Make sure you hit the like button. Drop a comment in the comment section. Let me know what y'all think. And before I do that, uh, stylistic-wise, I think that Lomachenko... Uh, versus Javante Tank Davis is a great fight. I've always said I thought the style of Javante Tank Davis, I think he'll be the first person to stop Vasil Lomachenko. Uh, and I still feel that way, especially that Lomachenko is 36. He's older now. Uh, his reflexes are not the same. Javante Tank Davis is explosive southpaw with tons of power. I still pick Javante Tank Davis to beat Vasil Lomachenko. And Tank Davis is getting a taste of that with five foot eight. 68-inch Army Southpaw and Frank the Ghost Martin. So let's see how this unfolds and plays out. Uh, but that's all I got for y'all. Make sure you hit the like button. Drop a comment in the comment section. Let me know what y'all think. Y'all already know what it is. It's your boy Blue, Blue Blood Sports TV. Hate, like, comment, and subscribe. If you haven't subscribed, hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button. Hit the bell icon to get all the new notifications. Follow me on Instagram at Blue Blood Sports TV. All in one word. That's all I got for y'all. I'm gone. Peace.